director there. Yes. So then what's Lead Minds Africa? Lead Minds Africa is um, uh, a non-profit organization mm -hmm. that I founded. Oh, okay. And um, the mission is to engage, equip, and inspire young people mm -hmm. uh, to think, create, and develop scalable solutions okay. uh, that can build, champion, and drive Africa ahead. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is... That how is, old uh, is this baby? How old? We officially got registered in 2018. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and, wait! You're making strides just like that? Yes. Surprising. <laughs> but uh, it is an idea that um, I have had since 2013. Okay. Uh, before I graduated from Makere University. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was sitting in uh, uh, one of the computer labs and uh, I was doing research on my final uh, coursework. Uh -huh. Then two ideas came to mind. What did you Just, study? Uh, development studies. Okay. So uh, initially I wanted to, to be uh, a lawyer. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then okay. Um, I got a government scholarship and I, I just went for development studies Brilliant. and um, on that final day as I was sitting in a computer lab mm. busy researching then I began looking at statistics yeah. um, on Africa uh -huh. and, and two ideas actually just came to mind like that um, one was a leadership institute and okay. another was the uh, care children's mission like mm -hmm. just just like that care children's mission yes and uh, for, for Care Children's Mission, the idea was about expanding access to education okay. to give young people um, uh, access, I mean opportunity, like accelerating opportunity mm -hmm. uh, for, 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 to education. Mm -hmm. Then the other one was developing young leaders. Uh, I was about to say, wh why a leadership institute? Wh were you um, taking up leadership positions? Why was leadership close to your heart? Uh, I was actually, uh -huh. since first year. Uh, at Makere, mm -hmm. when I reached Makere, mm -hmm. I just got uh, involved in student leadership mm -hmm. and to worked out that Good. since I mean from from first year to third year mm -hmm. I was a student leader and uh, but Africa continued to speak to me um, I have I have I have two worlds that speak to me okay I have the inner world and the outside world uh -huh. so what I'm passionate about yeah. and like what I read and what uh, I listen to mm -hmm. and how it connects to what I believe in. So I continue to listen to that. Then what I see happening around, around, around me, mm. uh, both beginning from family, uh, then of course the people I interact with, yeah. then the wider uh, scope uh, mm -hmm. of Africa. So I continue to listen to that. And uh, I wanted to step forward, and uh, I'm glad I did. And present um, yourself. Yes. Let me ask you, since you wanted to do a leadership um, institute, mm -hmm. I've always wondered, especially with our politics and our leaders, mm -hmm. and we complain about the quality of our leaders. Yeah. Uh, but I think the higher leaders get, we tend to speak also not just about the leader, but about their family unit, mm -hmm. about the people around them. Yeah. What, what do you make of... Um, the, the, the role of your family, for example, mm -hmm. in your, the quality of leader you become, or the quality of leader you can be? It is very, very, very important. Mm. Actually, I think 90% or 80%. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not based on research, it is something that... <laughs> that you feel? Yes. yes. I think 80% of, of, of um, of the leader you become is mm. determined or shaped by your family. Mm -hmm. uh, if if you had, for example, if you had uh, a broken family, I think it would be very hard for you to be stable. But we've seen leaders rise from such backgrounds. <laughs> yes, yes, they they do. But uh, it takes time. Mm. It takes time, and uh, it it takes a mindset that you really develop. Mm -hmm. um, it takes a lot of effort, but. Uh, if, if your father was loving or is loving and your mother is does the same uh, I don't I don't think that you will be a very violent person <laughs> or <laughs> mm. so, <laughs> so I, I find it hard to be do, do we need a loving leader do we need a firm leader or can the two 
both. exist together? Both. They can? Yes. I think I think one informs the other. Okay. Or one gives birth to the other. Okay. If you are if you are loving, yeah. then you are going to, to develop I mean values that mm -hmm. are actually going to make you like a firm person mm -hmm. in positions of leadership. I don't feel that if you have the the virtue or the value to to love, mm. you will fail to remember those you lead. Mm -hmm. it, it becomes hard. Okay. Uh, but if you are not a loving person, then <laughs> <laughs> who leaders? <laughs> but uh, so so lead uh, lead is it lead Africa? Lead minds Africa. Lead minds Africa, and then there's yes. Africa Children's Mission. So mm -hmm. help me understand now. Who the other one gave birth to this one? The other one works with this one? Um, no, uh, they are totally uh, different. Different. Mm. Uh, entities. Mm. Um, so after 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 graduating from from Makerere yes. University, I worked in Rwanda for two years. Okay. Um, with an organization called Cornerstone Development Africa, mm -hmm. and then after two years, I came back to to Uganda. Mm -hmm. Then began working. Cornerstone an NGO. Yes. Okay. Then began working with African Children's Mission mm -hmm. um, since 2015. Mm -hmm. So what we do is educate children in Uganda and Kenya, mm -hmm. and um, our field operations are in Nakasongola oh, okay. district. Cool. Um, but uh, our sister organization uh, offices are in, in Kololo. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we call ourselves sister organizations. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the one in Nakasongola is a sister organization. Uh, no, the, uh, Cornerstone Development Africa mm -hmm. and African Children's oh, Mission. Oh, okay. Yes. So you know, you're working for the same people, just in different countries. Um, I would say, I would say, uh, non. A branch really. of? Uh, it's it's they are totally two different. Do they operate differently? Yes. Okay. But we believe in the same mission, ah. or we believe in the same cause. Got you. Got you. And um, which is to elevate, give access to young people to get education. Absolutely. What young age group are we talking about here? Um, we we don't really. Maybe we could say from from, for example, ours mm. begins really from uh, elementary school, okay. and uh, we take them through up to university. Oh, is it? Yeah, uh, Cornerstone uh, focuses on on uh, on youth. I, I would say maybe mm. beginning from fifteen mm -hmm. to thirty five. Yeah, because they they have uh, they build high schools yeah. uh, around. They are in uh, almost all countries of oh, East good. Africa. That's good. So Uganda. So it's from building schools to paying fees to just education. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, when we get to hear Obama talk about you, yes, wh what had happened? What happened between your, your last coursework in the university <laughs> to that moment? <laughs> What's in the gap? Fill in the gaps for us. Um, I think I, w I would say staying committed to the mission. Mm. Um, I have been someone who who wants to elevate myself, uh, beginning from 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 school, um, going into the field of of working. Mm. I've always focused on doing my best mm -hmm. and seeking opportunities to personally grow mm -hmm. as an individual. So I I through that I have looked out for for opportunities. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> One of them was, since 2018, I have been monitoring closely. Oh, I, I don't know if that is the right word to use, monitoring closely yeah. or following closely Obama. Uh. Um, when he became the first black president, uh -huh. I kept following what he, what he did yes. and how he came and inspired us to, mm. to be really uh, people we, we seek to be mm -hmm. or to become. So... When he stepped out of, of, of office, mm. he began Obama Foundation. Yes. Then he created Obama Scholars. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I happened to, to apply to be part of the gathering in Johannesburg, mm -hmm. and I was selected. Um, Did you think you had a chance when you were <laughs> applying? No. You, <laughs> you were just putting it out there and saying whatever happens. You, can't, you cannot think mm -hmm. that you can have a chance uh, amongst 10,000 applicants. So why apply, Enoch? Why apply? <laughs> if you think you have no chance, why uh, apply? There must be something that was saying. You never know. I think, I, think, I, think, I think we have continued to suffer from the crisis of courage. 
as Africans, as Ugandans, as young people generally, yeah. uh, or as people generally, mm. we have continued to suffer from the crisis of courage. Mm. You look at you look at an opportunity, or you look at uh, a, a stage mm. uh, you want to get to, mm. and you are afraid. Then you allow that fear to hold you back. Yeah. But uh, I looked at Obama Foundation and I said, yeah, um, Enoch. I'm best in Uganda, but I think this is where this is something for me. So, what kind of what, what are you saying in in that application? I what, am Enoch, what, I'm Ugandan. I'm making a difference. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I said exactly what I do mm. and what I'm passionate about, and uh, the person I see myself become mm. because of the opportunity yeah. that I would get. And um, yes, it happened. Which is leadership. Which is leadership, mm. and uh, it happened. So I got an email, congratulations, everything <laughs> is, is covered, um, those kind of emails. Yeah. And uh, all I, have, I had to do was confirm that I would be present. Imagine. Yeah. So I, I flew to Johannesburg and um, sometimes people say the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> The rest has been history for you. <laughs> uh, but you were not privy to his speech before he gave it. No. So you didn't actually know. Uh-uh. So when you did you hear it or were you told after you know some things don't register when they're happening? <laughs> <laughs> was that the case for you? <laughs> I was uh, I was told. Mm. So we had a session to pitch. Yes. And uh, I didn't go actually to the Mandela Stadium uh, when Obama was giving the so Are you among is it the 200 who had a closed off session? Uh, the the one that had um, with the, directly with Obama? Yes. Yes. Yes, I was. Good. So, the, the, a friend of mine from Sierra Leone uh, told me Obama has uh, mentioned your name. Has mentioned your <laughs> name, <laughs> uh, and I'm like, okay. Um, mm. So I never knew. I never knew what that meant actually. Yeah. And um, then, then. Do you now know what it means? Do I know what it means? Um, I know. I know now how it. It inspires me. I know how it speaks to me deeply. Okay. Okay. Uh, not, not, uh, and uh, I'm continuing to, to to find ways how do I use that. Yes. Yes. Not for myself, for others. Which is what you originally intended to do anyway. Absolutely. Mm. So yeah. Have you found the ways? But it's been Have too I soon. I, I'm, I'm wondering what Lead Minds Africa has done. You, I know it's a, you said 2018, which mm -hmm. means just almost months in. Mm -hmm. what, what is the blueprint? What is the plan for Lead Minds Africa? The plan is, um, as I said, mm. to continue engaging, mm -hmm. uh, equipping and inspiring young, young leaders mm -hmm. um, to step out and actually... So do you have a set program? Do you have a set location? Is it a meetings? We, we do, we do mentorship. Oh, okay. We do mentorship, then we do annual leaders gatherings. Ah. Uh, in August, we organized one where we had uh, 140 uh, student leaders turn up. Uh, from six schools, mm -hmm. so and uh, that has really given us a direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do small groups that meet in in uh, in high schools, mm -hmm. uh, so that young people can continue to share ideas and be and inspire. Actually, you each said other. young leaders. Are you only talking to people if I am a leader somewhere at any point in my life, mm -hmm. or are you talking to people who? So you know, sometimes some people are born leaders, but they they haven't yet walked into it. Absolutely, I agree. Yeah. So who are you talking to? Just the, the ones who are already student leaders or leaders or the ones who are also aspiring? Is there a program perhaps to, for those who might aspire to be leaders? Yeah, yeah. Mm. We, we focus on, on uh, those that are already in positions of leadership. Yes, and, and this is those. in school levels yes. or anywhere? Um, we, w that is actually, uh, we, it cuts across. Okay. Like it, we don't want to, to just be limited, Yes. but uh, we want to give really uh, an opportunity to student leaders. You see, young people in schools are, are having challenges. What were the student leaders, by the way? What are we saying? Prefect? Yes, prefect. Head boy? Head boy. Nobody ever nurtures those people, by the way, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, actually, in rural schools. Hmm. Ex especially in rural schools. If, if we are talking about, for me, I think, actually, that is a, that's one of the things that, that I, I strongly believe in. Mm. Uh, rural schools have kind of, like, been left. That a prefect in Nakaseke just ends there <laughs> as a prefect. And, and they don't believe. That they that can go beyond that. Exactly. That's terrible. In, 2000, in 2014, 
I met a lady from from Mike Blomberg Philanthropies, mm -hmm. uh, and she she told me that the boundaries of of your communities mm -hmm. will end up becoming the boundaries of your life unless you work hard and break them. Mm -hmm. That has stayed with me. Has it? I see that with other young people. Mm -hmm. Someone goes to, to a school in, in Nakasongora. Mm. They have, for example, they, they, can, they can look at, at you, Flavia, and they say, a young girl looks at you, uh, Flavia, and says, I want to become, like I want one. to be mm. like Flavia. But they don't have access, first of all, mm -hmm. to you. Uh, but they are really... Uh, have this tr strong desire within them they they are they are confused how do I get there mm -hmm. so I believe that is something we can do uh, through lead minds to actually go out in those schools <laughs> are you joining the dots for them and saying that maybe Flavia or Enoch is here you're here these are the steps yes to get there, you're joining the dots for these young people. I will share. I will share with you uh, an example of a young girl called Edith mm -hmm. uh, Simwe. She came to our gathering mm. in August, and after the gathering, she said, "I want to do an interview uh, mm -hmm. on you." Okay. And, and I'm like, "Okay, this is this is this is really this is really good." <laughs> and uh, she get, she gets a phone that she was given by by the school. Yeah. And she begins interviewing me like just just right there on spot, mm. and the interview went well. Good. So I'm like, what what do you want? Do you want? Are you a natural? Do you realize you're a natural journalist? Journalist, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, actually, I feel that is who I want to be. I want to mm. be a journalist. By my, but my parents are telling me I need to be a doctor. <sighs> that one is also there. <laughs> That disease of parents want to be is also still there. But that's good. So when, when we're saying leaders, Enoch, you're not just saying what people would term as leaders, politicians, MPs. You're saying a leader in any field? Yes. You see, leadership has been, uh, uh, leadership has been narrowed mm. to, to having a political position. Yes. Uh, that is not really entirely how where leadership begins and, and where it ends <laughs> yeah. no you know Flavia even waking up early in the morning mm. and you know I want to put on this kind of cloth because of this kind of occasion mm. that I'm that is that is self-leadership hmm. um, you making certain decisions mm. at a certain times mm -hmm. maybe to to get where you want to go yeah. that is leadership uh, someone who is uh, who is in the who is in in, uh, in in a rural area, waking up to go to the field yeah. because they want to provide for their family. Their family mm. That is leadership. A young person who is uh, stepping out to say, you know, I want to elevate other people's lives because of what I, I don't want to my community to, mm. to like to change the status quo. Mm. That is a. Uh, that is that is leadership. So that is what we are trying to tap into. That is what we are stepping forward to actually st tap into, and um, make people understand better. Leadership is far and wide. Yes. Um, Enoch this morning has made a statement which I want you to quote him on, please. We have uh, continued to suffer from the uh, crisis of courage yes. <laughs> as young people eh? you're afraid of everything you don't think you can be or you can't make it uh, let me ask you when we talk about leadership now that you've made it broad yeah and say that uh, for me to wake up and decide to be in a certain position mm -hmm. in my job for example yes to get to seek a promotion mm -hmm. is choosing leadership mm -hmm. This whole thing of gender balance yes. is a big problem. Mm -hmm. The gap is still there. Yeah. Yes, we're discussing it, <laughs> but it is still there. It's yeah. going to take us time to sort of narrow it down. Okay. And I think we're always saying that, you know, maybe if you start these young girls early, if they know their value early, mm -hmm. in the next generation, they'll be, you know, they'll have, they'll have narrowed that gap a bit better. Yeah. What are you seeing uh, in these young people, especially the, the young girls? We actually have uh, uh, intelligent young girls, um, and uh, you know, according to research, research has has shown that women are actually better leaders. 
<laughs> if, yes. if given if given the space they are actually better leaders in our case study of Uganda what's what's that holding us back is it our people is it our family units our cultures our religion what's holding us back now one thing that I have come to also believe is I think we need to change the narrative uh -huh. in Uganda that um, women women are weak um, W w women have ten have have actually i think accepted that that they are weak they've been told for so long yes mm. and they have they have bought into mm. that belief for me i feel women themselves need to change the narrative and say no we are not i think we we're, we're, we're trying <laughs> we're I, trying especially in the in this 21st century mm. I'm seeing new a new trend. Yes, uh, women are becoming so confident; they are becoming so bold, mm -hmm. and they are building amazing things. Okay, and uh, I feel that is what we are going to witness moving forward. So, for me, for me as a, as an individual, I believe young women are very intelligent mm -hmm. and uh, they are capable of leading. Yes, the the space uh, men by nature are kind of. They, they 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 step forward with uh, easily yes with or without experience by the way <laughs> exactly <laughs> easily <laughs> women I think because of their motherly spirit they are so careful and they want to step into something that they are sure of and they want a lot of um, pushing <laughs> like being <laughs> Enoch stop there before you fall into a muddle of dirty water stop there. <laughs> <laughs> Two things as we wind up. Yes. One, I think I'll want you to uh, probably end there on uh, what, what your what you're seeing today and what your projections of the, what kind of leadership we'll have. Not just here because your passion is Africa. Mm -hmm. What kind of leaders or leadership, where are we going in terms of a continent? Your projections. And then two, somebody's watching today and is thinking, I, I might not know what's within me, but I think if I if I came to lead Minds Africa, I might figure it out, yeah. how they can find you and what kind of programs they can be part of. Oh, okay. Um, the projections for, for Africa uh, and the kind of leaders we are going to have moving forward, we are going to have more of accountable leaders moving forward in mm -hmm. Africa. Flavia, I have, uh, I have been part of, of, uh, of gatherings or networks like the Mandela Institute for Development Studies. I have met incredible young people mm -hmm. on the African continent. That is actually something, uh, I think most of the things, the image you have portrayed about Africa is we are in crisis. Mm. We, we need help. Yes, we need help. They, through, through the networks I have been part of, the Mandela Institute for Development Studies and the Obama Foundation and other gatherings, mm -hmm. um, I've met incredibly talented young people. Mm -hmm. And I believe Africa is safe. Good. I believe Africa is safe moving forward. Um, the, the more uh, the space, actually, for me, I believe, I believe strongly mm. that the more young people are prevented or stopped from becoming the leaders they want, mm. the more we are going to see better leaders come up. Okay. Yeah, I actually strongly it's believe It's grinding that. harder. Yeah. They're, yes. they're trying harder. For my, feel, uh, for my feel, the more they narrow that gap or the space for the leadership, better. the better. Okay. Uh, young people, that, that builds the zeal mm. uh, in young people to actually break. And, it's and a good perspective on this. It's a good <laughs> one. The more you prevent the young people to become leaders, actually, the, the more you block the space. Actually, for me, that is, that is what I strongly believe. Okay. I think I think if 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 young people like when you you, you are in a society mm. where everyone is given an opportunity, mm. sometimes it's comfortable. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. But when when situations or conditions <laughs> become harder, yes. I think for me the more we are going to get better leaders. Okay. That's yeah. one way to look at it. Lack of opportunities is inspiration. <laughs> That's one way to look at it, honestly. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So for me, I, uh, I'm one person who strongly believe Africa moving forward 
is uh, going to be safer, is going to get better leaders. Okay. It's going to be uh, many young people or even leaders actually who are in positions of leadership are strongly stepping out and saying, you know, we need to put a stop to corruption. Mm. We need to end this uh, uh, the bad leadership that we have witnessed mm -hmm. on the continent since independence. Okay. So, so <laughs> don't let so. a young person talk politics. <laughs> we might sp spend the night here. Eh? <laughs> but so for young leaders who are watching or yes. potential leaders, how do they find uh, Lead Minds Africa? How do how do you find us? Um, we you actually, uh, I, as I said, mm. you can come to to Cornerstone, okay. um, Ploti Thirty Seven, mm. uh, Kororo, or you can reach out to. We are on Twitter. Of course. Uh, lead minds. You cannot be get telling Yempo to lead and you're not <laughs> in the new wave of social media. We are on Twitter yeah. uh, at Lead Minds. Okay. Then Facebook, of course, Lead Minds Africa. Mm. And uh, you can reach out uh, to, to you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you can also be part of uh, our annual gatherings, yeah. uh, our mentorship. So programs. there was one in August? Yes. When is the next? Uh, when is the next? We are planning to have another one on the 23rd. Or the 24th of August next year. Next year, okay. Yes. So there's enough time to reach absolutely. out and plan. Absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You're and hopefully those leaders that they're grinding, uh, you're one of them. <laughs> eh? Are you thinking of politics someday? Um, politics, um, I don't know. Mm. But maybe. When the waters keep eh, calm down. Uh, uh, <laughs> You're waiting for when things are. I, I really, I really, Flavia. I don't, I don't think I need a, a political office. So yours, you want to train good leaders, not to become. Yes. You want that's your leadership. That's your. Because way of leading. Because uh, for me, I strongly believe that change cannot happen where it is already happening. It can happen actually maybe at a minimum. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel change has to happen in places where it has not yet happened, or it is happening at a small scale. That's why you're looking. So I, yes. <laughs> okay. That is uh, Enoch uh, Muranga from Lead Minds Africa. They're on Twitter. They're on Facebook. Find them. Uh, they're nurturing our next leaders yeah. in any field. When we say leaders, it's not just politics. Yes. Yeah. So you might want to make a difference in whatever organization or industry you're in. They're the people to look at. We said young leaders. So uh, let the next generation step up. Thank you, Enoch, for your time. You're welcome, Flavia. Thank you. That's it for Take Notes. You're watching Morning at 10 TV. and win every 10 minutes. For every 1,000 you spend, it gives you one entry into the jackpot this Sunday. To play on MTN, simply dial star 165 star 33 hash and follow the prompts on your phone. For Airtel customers, simply dial star 185 star 4 star 9 hash. Then, 